I'm giving a demonstration. This is how it started out with my job in public school. This is how it is now. Okay. We, we paraprofessionals, you know, we're translating, we're translating Spanish and English and vice versa in the classrooms, but they also give us extra duties, like lunch duty. So lunch duty is the teacher goes out to the cafeteria or she sits on a bench outside under a tree and has her lunch or whatever. She goes to her vehicle and eats a sandwich, whatever. So we stay with her class. So what these teachers do, they have this enormous screen, no more chalkboards, and they put a movie on, a video for the students. I don't know why they have to watch movies, and I don't know why they're watching movies that are not rated for their age without their parents' permission. <clears throat> anyway, so <laughs> one of the most difficult classes I have lunch duty for are fourth graders. Now, they're like, they have an attitude like juvenile delinquents, you know? Um, I mean, I mean, they act like, like, like some of these uh, <laughs> juvenile uh, um, prisons, jails. I mean, you know, like real tough. You know, and they don't care that you know I'm an old, I'm older woman. You know, I'm a religious woman. You know, they'd be polite. Mm -mm. Some of them feel bad about it, and they come up to me and apologize for how the others are acting. Anyway. I usually stay very patient. You know, I just give them reasons they shouldn't do or say what they're doing. But the other day, the student, I'm going to do a simulation. With their lunch, they got this little bag and it had a few pieces of celery in it and it had a tiny little uh, thing of like salad dressing so they could dip the celery in and it wouldn't taste so plain. So this kid, this kid comes up to me to ask me something. I don't know, maybe to go to the bathroom. And while he's talking to me, he's doing this. And I'm thinking, if he, if he lets go of that bag, and if the salad dressing container uh, breaks, I mean, where is it going to be? On the rug? Uh, in some kid's face? Uh, on a computer? Because everybody... Um, has a computer, sometimes the uh, the Chromebook on their desk. I was doing this. I said, stop it. Don't do that. He kept doing it. I said, stop it again. He didn't do it. He didn't stop. So I went and I, I wrote um, minus 10. They have these like teams and you find their name on the team and you write minus 10 points if they did something wrong, if they broke a rule. And he says, why did you do that? I said, I told you to stop, and you didn't. And he said, well, I did stop, but it kept spinning just because, you know, the force of the spin kept it spinning. I wasn't spinning it. And I said, come on, I just look stupid. Why did I say that? I usually don't say things like that. It just popped in my head. It's something my uh, seventh grade art teacher <laughs> used to say when somebody was disrespectful to him. I just look stupid. You know, I'm not really stupid. Anyway, I thought that was funny. So, I mean, in, in these public schools, anything goes. Anything. That's just one episode. More later, I think. I feel like talking today.